about as accomplished a submission specialist as we have in this division. And candidly, not many women are able to stand up to that type of challenge. It's very difficult to try and fight a specialist in the position that they are so good at getting you to. Because it's her ability to trick you into grappling with her that makes her so special. And when you're on step two of a jiu-jitsu exchange, she's already graduated. Right. School's already out of session <laughs> by the time you're ready to go into the classroom. Because the moment you leave any limb hanging, you leave the arm now, arm bar is already thrown up on you. You get too low on her hips, she throws up the triangle choke. If you get too high with your body, she'll be rolling knee bar, ankle right. lock, leg lock. It does not matter. There are just so many submissions in her arsenal that you are constantly in danger. School is out for summer champ. We'll see how quickly she can get this fight to the ground tonight. She's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything gifted to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker. So try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. the tape for this strawweight fight. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now we're producing our opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. Marina Rodriguez. Herb Dean, our third Good man fight. in the octagon for this Good. one. Good. All right, here we go. Another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. But a lot of several moments in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 226. But John, also UFC 200. I got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Game of inches right there, Wow. It was a good night if that landed. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Nice job by her with the kick there. So one minute into the fight, and look at these two warriors just going at it. She better be careful, though. You gotta think gas tank might become an issue at some point. The gas tank will become an issue if you fight so reckless. You cannot be this reckless in a fight inside the outside. Oh, she snaps off another stiff jab. Perfect employment of the jab here tonight. Rodriguez is now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. sides with conviction. Nice jab by Rodriguez. Right on the button. Just misses there with the left. Oh, flying knee to the dome piece. Well, 
unfortunate. And that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Rodriguez. Way to hide that leg kick. Three minutes to go. Good combination there. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of her there. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land. And to this point, she has done just that. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. But she's got to get on her bike now. She's got to get space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Jab. Oh, uppercut land. No idea how these two women are standing. They are both landing massive. There it is again. Look at that. Under two minutes to go. Oh, and she just continues to land that jab, keeping her opponent at distance. She's making this look like a video game. I mean, she's making it look like a video game. It's unreal to watch her pop that jab. It's like Yolanda J check before her. Fast moving, jab always started everything. And tonight, this young lady is employing that same strategy. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into this fight. Oh, she's here. They're probably her best strike in the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, man, she landed a hell of a front kick there. That's a great Muay Thai technique. When your opponent's trying to charge you, you land that kick to try to back him up and get your space exactly where you need it. There she goes, landing that jab again. She might have a better jab than you do. Oh, she's got a fantastic jab. I'm telling you, put me, to, put me to shame. I like to try to fight behind my jab, but I'm not sure I've ever landed him so consistently as we've seen her do tonight. Man, she's hurt her opponent several times in this round. We acknowledge the durability on the other side, but how about just getting aggressive and finishing this fight? You know, she doesn't take many chances inside the octagon. Right now is a time where she should take chances. She should be going forward, putting a lot of activity out there, and trying to end her opponent's night. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You know what I'm saying? Sending a nasty flying knee to the head. Rodriguez's eye appears to be closing up by the center. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, she is wearing it. That cut continues to leak down into her eye. Some replays from all the action in that previous round. Yeah, John, that's called the trickle-down effect. Yeah. It comes down the face right into the eye. You don't want to be dealing with that. You want to have clear vision when you're in the octagon with one of the best fighters in the world. But it's her, her irresponsible defenses that have led her to this Ready point. Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, how good is that jab by Rodriguez? And she continues to effectively use the jab here, much like she did in the previous round. Until the opponent can stop it, you gotta go back to it. Nice punch to the head. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Sniff that one out as she blocks the kick. Nice one, two there. Rodriguez's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Lands that beautiful jab. Just missed with the left there. Oh, that kick is good by Vina. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. 
All right, let's see if she can get back to the hook here. Of course, she'll need a setup here, work off of the jab, and punctuate her combination with that patented hook. All right, so another nice sequence for her there. You've talked a lot about her fight IQ, but this is pretty simple, right? You batter your opponent upstairs. Stay with it. She did it early. She was able to get to her spots, land the shots that she wanted to land. Her opponent did nothing to change it, and now she finds herself in a comfortable position where she has to just keep targeting the face that is so swollen right now. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Now we're going. That left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Two minutes to go round two. Well, she has had a steady diet of jabs and other strikes, and now her face is really starting to swell. Her face is really starting to swell. She's been battered, she's been bruised, she's been beat up, and right now, she has to do something. Oh! And she misses with the left punch there. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. What a turn of events here inside this arena. An absolutely crazy flush knockout, and there's going to be no wiping that smile off her face tonight. She's going to be smiling all the way to the bank after a knockout like that. What a performance, what a knockout, unbelievable. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marina Rodriguez! Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job finding that kill shot. So I said I was going to be giving some feedback in these uh, game plays that I'm going to be doing sometime. Uh, I didn't do an intro, but here we are in the outro. Marina Rodriguez with the victory over Vendera Jarova. Really like using her. She has some hard strikes, but I swear to you guys, I feel like the AI over the last couple of weeks has just been cheating. But that's another story. Maybe I'll talk about it in the future. You let me know. Has the AI been, you know, a little bit harder for you as well? Um, you see right now the AI has 50, has five wins over me. I'm looking to change that in some of these gameplays. So stay tuned to see if that happens. Uh, but yeah, really enjoyed this fight. It was a challenge. I did get knocked out, but I had fun. It was a great fight to witness. And I always like seeing, you know, who overcomes in these fights in UFC. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a straight up simmer. But yo, with that being said, please leave interactions on the video. If you want to request, do that as well. And I'll see you guys next show, next video.
I'm out of here. Peace.